Hawaii is sinking. And yes, I mean that literally. The islands of Hawaii are a paradise, known for their stunning beaches, vibrant marine life, and beautiful coastlines. And beneath its beauty, something alarming is happening. Some of the islands are sinking whilst the oceans are rising. This is a recipe for disaster. In a brand new science paper, researchers have shown that through some modeling and number crunching, that certain islands of the Hawaiian chain are gonna go through flooding a lot earlier than expected, particularly the Oahu shoreline. Now this is the third largest island in the Hawaiian chain and has major cities like Honolulu, which are main tourist attractions for Hawaii. So what's causing this and what can we do about it? Well, to understand the science of sinking, we have to understand the science behind land subsidence. Now this either happens naturally or by human induced processes. A lot of Oahu's coastal developments are built on soft lagoon or reef deposits and on artificial fills, which is basically a combination of soft sediments, reef deposits, and other waste that they just put into a hole so that they can build on the land. And over time, these un consolidated deposits, they end up compacting, causing land subsidence, which basically causes part of the island to sink. We also can't forget that Hawaii is part of an island chain which is constantly on the move. Basically, as the Pacific Plate moves over a hot spot, more and more islands are created, but the older ones are no longer growing. That means they're exposed to the elements, which means more coastal erosion, but also the lithosphere on which the islands sit gets cooler, making them sink. And lastly, we have human activities, things like groundwater extraction. We don't think much about it, but the nearly 1 million people need fresh water. And when you take water out of the ground, it leaves voids and those voids get compacted and then they cause land to subside. On average, Oahu is sinking at a rate of 0.66 millimeters per year. So about 10 sheets of paper, but on the Southern shore, it's going 40 times greater at nearly 25 millimeters a year. And to put that into perspective, the long-term ocean rising average is expected to be 1.5 millimeters. So you can see where we're going with this. Ocean levels are rising, but the island is sinking much quicker. The models show that areas like Mapuna Puna may experience over 53% more flood exposure due to the sinkage of land. And what's more is by 2050, big cities like Honolulu may be exposed to these flooding events. So what can they do about it? Well, local governments and urban planners are looking at ways to curb the amount of pressure put on those southern areas with less coastal developments. They're also investing in things like seawalls and elevated roads, essentially limiting the need for flood barriers in areas where there's lots of people. They're also looking to monitor groundwater extraction to try and stop any subsidence or sediment compaction in areas where people live. Ignoring this data isn't an option. Hawaii's future depends on how well we plan for what's coming. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.